What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Micro scale garage. Oh, all right. So, um, I want to talk about the barrage. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my Facebook group, Micro Scale Garage at Facebook, um, be sure to check it out. My buddy Steve, you guys know Steve on the comments and everything. He's got, and also on his YouTube channel, he's got an actual barrage 124 with a ram body on it, and it looks dope. It looks real good. Adrian won't let me drive it. <laughs> he's been driving his truck and he loves it. He's been crawling everywhere. As you guys can see, it's got mud all over the tires and everything. I'm going to take it out today and I'm going to actually drive it around because I'm going to work some more on the micro scale course. I got to go and get some, pick up some more rocks and everything like that. Um, I love the lights. Uh, just wish that the motor was a little bit tuned down a little bit so it wasn't so fast because this thing is like a little Baja truck you know it's like a trail truck something that you just take around on the trails walking in the woods you know um, we put it up like I said the last video we put it up against the uh, the ambush and my buddies that didn't know how to crawl like my buddy Chris he was driving it so um, but let Adrian drive it and you know he was getting up and over rocks and actually the one hard concrete rock I actually just make a video on it I'm trying to pinpoint it in my brain but there's a rock on the micro course that's like all jagged and stuff it's like a piece of concrete and it was having a hard time making it up it but I don't know I mean the truck it, it gave it all you know it was like up on three-wheel motion and then it just it climbed it <laughs> it made it you know um, we're gonna park this over to the side have not um, got the uh, the steel modified air intake mesh grill in yet um, I've been messing around with the Jeep I was trying to like cover up all the little white scratches on the Jeep I was trying to make rust I think I'm gonna do a mud paint job on the Jeep once I get everything on it because uh, I don't I don't think that looks like rust um, it kinda looks like rust I guess I don't know, it looks like dirt it looks like mud to me uh, let me know in the comments. I think I just messed my Jeep all up. Just trying to give it some character because I couldn't find the blue and a paint brushed out blue, and I didn't want to take everything off and respray it. But I think I'm just gonna buy another body, repaint it, and then put all these uh, accessories on that body. I might end up doing that. But as you guys look, might be a little too bright. We got the shocks on. I also painted them a little bit. So, we got those on, so we can get ready to start uh, working on the Bronco some more. But, here we go. I missed the unboxing. Well, I missed the postman when the postman was bringing me my box. And I was all like, no, it's going to go back to China. Or Denmark. China, right? Japan. China. Asia. Over there. Um, overseas. Um, <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and crack this box open because I think this is the other brass. Man, I can't even open up a box. This is just supposed to be a quick unboxing video. Uh, oh man, here we go. I can already see I ordered doubles. We'll just throw those down there like that. But, looks like I got the dry shafts I need. I ordered, oh yeah, I did order an extra pair of these, I guess. So I got an extra pair of these. I'm going to try and see if I can put these on the, uh, on the Pedro. Mm, no, it's not going to work. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Or maybe I can make one work for the back window. No, I don't think they're, they're not cut right. But XS59792 BK. And here's what they look like on the Jeep. So we got an extra pair of those. All right, here we go. Internal parts. Bearings. And these bearings are the 582.5s. We get four of these TA0010. I order two sets of these so that way I can get through. The front and rear bearings. Actually, I only needed like one set. But I got two packs of these. TA0010. You know, we got to build the Lando Hunter semi truck axles too. 
and the dry shaft. Hopefully this is the two to two, right? Three to two, yay. All right, MD5 350, three to two. For the dry shaft that we need. Let's set that over there. And we got some extra speed, the mirrors for the Jeep. And these are the aluminum rear view mirrors. Now I'm wondering if I can put Trying to find it on my parts ball. Wonder if I can put. So I got the plastic ones here, but I didn't put the plastic ones on yet because I got. I bought the rear view, you know, the reflector. And I'm wondering if I can glue these reflectors in here so I'll have the mirror reflector. But these are metal or these are aluminum rear view mirrors. And the part number is XS59783. I can't wait to get these on. That's going to be so sweet. I'm going to set that over there, set that right there. <laughs> and here we are at the other heavy duty brass gear set for my axles for the Bronco. XS59679. All right. So I got one three to two dry shaft. And I think I got another three to two dry shaft up here. All right. I believe this one right here is three to two, right? MD5350, three to two. Yay! Yay! So we can put the drivetrain together. All these parts everywhere. Oh man, so now all we need to order is... Ball studs. That's all I need. I'm just waiting on ball studs coming from Banggood. And, it's, and then pretty much the Broncos frame and chassis should be together. I got a servo. I got a speed controller. All we got to do is just put everything together. Get that pile of parts together. Oh man, we're, we're, we're doing business, right? We got the other brass gear. All right, do we got everything to put it together except for ball studs? Oh no, links. Well, we got, um, we got end caps, ball end caps. I got some links, but some of the links I've used to, um, like I've cut and used links for the F-150 so I can make a Panhard bar. I'm making a Panhard bar for Christine's truck, her Datsun. Um, yeah, I just got to order links. And I got ball studs on the way coming from Banggood. And that was, I ordered those like a month ago. So those should be here anytime. So, um, next micro scale garage video, we'll be putting on the mirrors on the Jeep and do a crawl video with him and then the next micro scale garage video we should be able to put our Bronco together and start painting it um, oh man oh my junky ring uh, parts full of batteries and bodies and stuff I got uh, this TS dark yellow um, that I was thinking about painting the Bronco. I also got a AS olive drab, which is like an olive color. It's an aircraft. I mean, it's for aircrafts. I don't know if that a, you know, if that's for like styrofoam or if it's for that uh, the wrap that you used to you know, back in the day when I built a model airplane. It was like you had the it's a wood skeleton body, and you had to wrap it with like this uh, plastic wrap and like a heat gun. Um, I got those two colors. I got some TS-17 um, gloss aluminum. I also got uh, AS-19 blue, like a navy blue. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to find out if I can. I really like this color. I mean, I think that'd be cool. You know, do like uh, do like this blue and then um, do the outline of the body, you know, like maybe maybe do the do the roof with the TS3 and then that AS19 do the body. You know, I think that'll look sick. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't even know if I could spray this stuff on. I mean, maybe if I use like a normal PS. Um, no, I think PS is for polystyrene bodies. 
right? I'm getting all confused. All right, somebody let me know in the comments. I believe PS is for like Lexan bodies, right? For these kind of bodies, you know, Lexan. And then I think you can use either TS. Yeah, I think it's TS on these hard bodies, you know, like ABS plastic bodies. And then I believe this AS is for aircraft because it's, you know, aircraft for A. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I wasted my money on buying paint. But I'm going to try and use them anyways. And I'm going to see how they turn out because I don't have a lot of money. And these are the paints that I'm rocking with right now. And I'm going to go think about a paint job for the Bronco. All right, you guys. Next micro scale garage video, we're gonna get down and dirty, get building. We got our brass gears. I'm so excited about that. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna get started on that. I'm gonna try and stay away from the switch and not play the switch all day. I'm gonna try and do this. I gotta go out there and go get rocks though real quick for their yard work. Like I said, I'll probably stop up at the hobby shop and go and ask some questions about paint and probably pick up like a darker, maybe a darker blue uh, I, don't, I don't know i don't know yet i don't know but we'll see like share subscribe you guys peace and love i love you guys thank you for the new subscribers that that makes me so much proud there's there's more people out here in the micro world let's do it do it big in the micro world and i know i've been buying 10 scale cars like you know i bought my wife oh she unboxed it she didn't want to do an unboxing but um, she unboxed it. She drove it around. If you look on my Instagram, my Facebook, she drove it around in the front room. She hasn't really drove it around in the micro course. It's got dust on it. Um, she likes her stuff just kind of self, like a shelf queen, like her roost. I painted it pink and it just sits in her room. <laughs> um, Adrian, Xavier loves his barrage. My brother Patrick came over. He drove Xavier's barrage and drove it through like my backyard and it was all swampy. I mean, the whole two hours that it was out there running it was in water and um i'm very surprised and very happy for a 170 dollars kit build that this little truck performed like my trx4 um very very stoked about that i gotta order my oldest son at, uh, emerson i gotta get him one and send him one um but yeah we're gonna get back into micro builds and micro scale garage and stuff like that get this going because i want to get my barrage or uh, barrage i want to get my bronco going i'm thinking about a new body for the barrage um but yeah all right you guys this has been way too long love you guys peace and love peace out